One of the exciting engineering stories in my lifetime is our progress in replacing fossil fuels with renewable energy. But we're still not close to kicking our oil habit. The last time you filled up your car, you demonstrated one reason why. Put in a few gallons of gasoline and you're good to go for another 400 miles. Now electric vehicles are getting similar range with expensive battery packs. But batteries just aren't practical for a lot of things we use oil for. Take uh, ocean-going ships, airplanes, crop drying for a few examples. As you can see in my bar chart, the energy density of an advanced lithium-ion battery is still just a tiny fraction of that of gasoline, 35 times less energy per gallon. Storable green energy remains one of the biggest challenges in re switching to renewable energy and reducing our carbon dioxide e emissions and the climate change that goes with that. Hydrogen has attracted a lot of attention as a possible carbon-free fuel. But hydrogen is hard to store and has a low energy density, even when stored as a liquid at minus 400 and something Fahrenheit. But hydrogen, produced from water using solar or wind energy, can also be reacted with nitrogen from air, as you see in my flowchart. The resulting green ammonia could be used at on demand as a carbon-free renewable fuel. Now ammonia has a decent energy density and is easy to store, but one of the problems with using ammonia as a fuel is that pure ammonia doesn't burn well. It also tends to leave lots of smelly unburned ammonia and nitrogen oxide pollutants in the exhaust. So in my research, I'm looking at burning ammonia with a small fraction of the ammonia broken back down into hydrogen. An ammonia-hydrogen mixture burns easily, and the main challenge in burning it cleanly is that we still don't fully understand the chemical reactions involved in the burning. I'm using laser-induced fluorescence to measure the concentration of particular molecules in an ammonia flame. To get the picture on my slide, I use a laser tuned to the right wavelength to excite hydroxide molecules, and then a special camera to get a picture of the energy released by those molecules, that is, their fluorescence. I compare this image to computer simulations to better understand the chemical reactions in the flame that produce nitrogen oxide pollutants. As we better understand how ammonia hydrogen fuel burns, that will pave the way for the use of green ammonia in a lot of applications that are so far exclusively fossil fuel fired. And maybe within my lifetime, we'll finally kick our oil habit. Thank you.